Hey guys, Mario here and in this video I wanted to show you guys my favorite squat variation. So this is the Anderson squat, not a lot of people know about this version of a squat, not a lot of people have been doing this, I actually never seen anybody do this in a gym. It's also known as the squat from pins or the dead squat. And there are days where I really incorporate this variation of squat combined also with the pause squat. And the primary reason why I incorporate Anderson squat is to simply work on my sticking point, also to deload my back when it's too fatigued. And the Anderson squat, what it does, it develops that raw squatting power going through that sticking point. So it eliminates that eccentric portion of the lift. So it takes away the stretch reflex that you have when you go to the bottom of the squat. You obviously develop some of that power by going up because you stretch out. And that when you eliminate that portion of the lift, then you notice a big difference, right? So coming out of the bottom of the squat, the weight will slow down. And I kind of realized, okay, my sticking point is pretty much around where the pins of the squat, as you see here are now. And then I want to practice that position as much as I can. And I don't want to have any extra momentum to help me. So I really want to work just that position. And for you guys who haven't heard about Paul Anderson, I mean, this guy is considered to be one of the strongest men in history. He is Olympic gold medalist. He is a world champion, two time national champion, Olympic weightlifting in the beginning of the 20th century. He played a big role in actually making powerlifting a competitive sport. And some say, I mean, there's been myths around that this guy has been able to squat uh, 1,200 pounds raw without anything. So no, not everybody believes that's true, but I mean, uh, if you do some research, you're gonna find different opinions on that. And uh, here, see me actually doing Anderson squats. I'm doing reverse pyramid training. This is the first working set, and I'm doing that with 120 kilos for three. It's pretty heavy. Uh, the way Paul Anderson used to do this, he would use like two old drums connected with like a, like a bar and uh, then he would actually like fill them in with water and uh, then he would dig a hole and he as he would squat every day he would fill the hole with dirt he would do like a progressive kind of increase uh, of depth and then he would he as he was standing in the hole uh, he would be squatting and every day that depth would get bigger and bigger and bigger and then he would have to actually start from the full squat position in the end and it, it's pretty famous actually, so it's a good story. Uh, here you're gonna see me pick the wrong weight for Anderson squat actually, and that's gonna some, be something I'm gonna talk about a little bit here, is that you don't wanna use too much weight for these. And here I misused the weight, so I thought I could do five reps to 110, which was a little bit uh, uh, kind of overshooting and overconfident in my end. And I just tried here and I couldn't do the fifth rep and I just left it there, fuck it, I just deloaded to 100 kilos in volume. So usually the way I do this, I do some heavy sets and I follow up with some volume work. And those were my two heavy sets and I just said, fuck this, let me do some volume. And I'm gonna do three sets with 100. So this variation of a squat is really amazing if, if you have problems like with your butt shooting up in the movement or if you're leaning forward, if you can't maintain that balance, this is gonna help you practice the proper position as you're coming out. And the more importantly, you're gonna learn how it's supposed to feel, right? And as you build raw squatting strength because of that removed stretch reflex, you're gonna become more and more confident in the way you handle the weight. And you can do so while there's also less risk of an injury because as you're grinding the weight, you're not using that much of a heavy weight in general because of Anderson squats, you can't really do that much. And the key is really to eliminate that stretch reflex and all the help and really pinpoint where exactly your sticking point of a squat is. You can do that by filming yourself or someone else who can observe you and tell you, and that will help you a lot. So this changed my training. I mean, this and, and pause squats made a huge difference for my own squat. And the way I would incorporate this in your training, I mean, if you squat regularly, uh, for one day a week, you could do this on the second day or if you have a third day of a squat where you're gonna go lighter weight, this is a pretty good way to do that. So you work up to your kind of heavy one to three rep set. Uh, that's usually about 70 to 80% of your one rep max. Then for volume work, you can work that about five, six rep range. That's usually what I do. I start every single rep. You see me here starting from a dead position. You know, I just relax, let loose, no momentum and just bam and just explode up and just try to get as much uh, of that speed coming out of the hole as I can. So the way you wanna work this in is uh, on those days that you might have your back fatigued, 
uh, your knees hurt a little bit, and you just want to do this instead of just going for your regular squats, and that's a really good option. So I hope you guys uh, really uh, learn a new variation of a squat that you can use. This is amazing to build that raw squatting power, helped me a lot. I think my squat uh, has been increasing steadily every single month since I incorporated this into my training because I really worked that sticking point. I know if I improve the sticking point, my overall squat will improve. Uh, keep in mind that you will be using a little bit less weight for this than your regular squat. And at first you might not be able to do that much, but over time, as you learn the movement, you're definitely gonna get more confident. So let me know in the comments how you plan to implement this in your training. I'm curious, uh, what do you guys think about this variation of a squat or if you ever heard about it? Aside from that, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a pleasure to do some squats again for you. And subscribe below to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.